Welcome to SAP Manufactory. Today, we will look into an important field from Material Master Advanced Planning View, that is Safety Stock Method. This is part two. As part of part one, I have published Static Safety Stock Method Calculation. As part of part two, today we will be looking at Time-Dependent Safety Stock Method. So this is the field safety stock method. The first four values related to static safety stock method. Today we will look into the last three, that is time dependent safety stock method. As a first one, we will start with the safety stock uh, time dependent maintenance. So for that, let me select the value MB, I'm saving it. Along with material master, we also need to maintain one more transaction that is nothing but SAP APO TDS. So this is my material which I'm using, getting into the change mode. So here I have to maintain the safety stock. So let me clear this. You cannot clear the old date uh, entry. So now what we are looking here is time dependent safety stock. So if you see here, so from 11th to 30th April, so you can maintain some value. So my I will maintain as 400 quantity. Then from May onwards, the whole May, you can have some different quantity. So I will maintain as 500 quantity. And June 1st onwards, I can have different quantity. So that is 600. So likewise, you can have multiple time here. And based on that, you can maintain the safety stock. So based on the requirement, you, you have to maintain. So I'm saving here, data saved successfully. So let me check once again. So the values are maintained here. So with this information, let's get into the product view. This is my product. Getting into the change mode. So let's see uh, the first one, safety stock. So to remember easily, so I have maintained 400, 500, and 600. So safety stock here, it is showing 400. Okay, so here up to 30th April, it is 400. Then from May 1st onwards, it is 500. That means 100 increased. Okay, so the system considers this 400 as well. So already I have 400 here. So on 1st of May, I have requested 500. So by considering it is creating 100 more quantity as a demand. Then June 1st, it is 600, so one more 100, so on June 1st. So the, the remaining uh, forecaster, that is my manual forecast. So this is how the system is displaying the uh, safety stock quantity. So 400, plus 200, 600, 700, 1000, 1020, 220, Okay, and then 1830. So this is how it will show. So now let's get into product view, safety stock method, MB. MB is safety stock time dependent maintenance. Okay, let's execute. So to satisfy this uh, safety stock, so a system created a plan order, 400, then on 15th, 
we have some requirement to satisfy it is 200 the similar way for every entry the system created a plan orders and uh, it is nullifying the receipts with the demand so this is how the system calculates the time dependent safety stock this is the first method now move on to the second method second method is m is that safety day supply so this safety day supply we need to maintain safety day supply time dependent i'm saving material change in coming to this transaction safety day supply safety day supply so up to 30th april i will maintain two days here three days and the next one is four days So data saved successfully. Let me check once again. Two days, three days, four days. That means the system should propose the plan order two days before the demand date. And subsequently, this is three days before the demand date and four days before. Now get into the product view. Product view. You see there is no safety stock displaying here even though i have maintained because it is controlled by the safety stock method calculation from material master advanced planning view okay so now let's run the product heuristic safety stock method is m is that safety day supply time dependent Execute it. Okay, so let us gather the days up to 30th April. It is two days. Okay, so then this one we can check. This is the demand on 15th, but the system created plan order on 13th itself because two days prior to the demand date. Then during May month, it is three days during May month. So here we have a requirement. Requirement is on 27th. So three days before system created a plan order. The next is it is on June. After June, it is four days after june so this is uh, august so so 28th 29 30 at least so four days this. so one two three okay so so four days before so this is correct this is how the system calculates the time dependent uh, safety day supply this is the second method okay so now let's move it to the next method the next method is maximum of mb and mz that is it considers both time dependent safety stock as well as time dependent safety day supply so let's select i'm saving it so coming to this transaction to maintain the safety stock and the safety day supply so it is already maintained i'm not uh, changing anything so let's check it is already 
product is already maintained here. So with this information, let's look at the product view. Getting into the product view. Now you see here the safety stock is displaying. Getting into the change mode. So we have safety stock as well as forecast. Now let's run the heuristic. So safety stock method is MM, maximum of MB and DMZ. Let's run the heuristic. So heuristic completed. The first one is safety stock 400. To satisfy that, the system created um, plan order for 400 quantity. And it doesn't consider the safety day supply because uh, it will go to a past date. So that's why it is created on the current date. The next one is uh, forecast on 15th. So it is creating and proposing on 13th. Okay, then May month, the requirement is on 5th. That system is proposing on 2nd itself because safety day supply is uh, four days. Also, you have a safety stock. So safety stock is uh, on May 1st, it is 100. By considering this uh, 400, so to satisfy that, system created a plan order for 100 quantity. And last one is uh, four days after uh, June 1st. So this is again uh, four days and the safety stock on June 1st, we have 600 quantity. So to satisfy that, so it is 600. So you see here, here we have 400 plus 100, 500. So that's how it is calculated, 600 here. So this is on 5th June. 5th June it is for requirement is 500 quantity. So four days before it has to create. Four, four days before it has to create. Okay, so. So May 31st it created. And the requirement is on fifth. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So four days before. Okay. This is how you can use time dependent safety stock method. I hope this information is uh, helpful to you if it is so press a like button and share it with your friends also if you are not uh, subscribed till now please subscribe my channel thanks for watching